Most people who use ChatGPT for coding related generation use a code interpreter that's built inside ChatGPT. It may need you to pay for a subscription, but it's definitely better than open code LMs that have their own interactive coding assistants. However, a small research team developed a new open source coding interpreter in hopes of achieving similar scores as GPT-4. Introducing Open Code Interpreter, a family of open source code systems designed for generating and executing code. This is a new framework of around 80 or sorry, 68,000 data, and that data is infused into open models that they develop, and it can learn from human as well as environmental feedback like new features or error messages. This team has done a great job in terms of releasing a comprehensive evaluation of their model across key benchmarks such as human eval you have mbp as well as their enhanced version of eval plus which is revealing exceptional performance sorry for being repetitive but this month we had insane partnerships with big companies giving out subscriptions to ai tools completely for free these are tools that will streamline your business's growth and improve your efficiency just being a patreon this past month you were given access to six paid subscriptions completely for free not only do you access these subscriptions but you gain the ability for consulting networking collaborating with the community as well as with myself you get access access to daily AI news, resources, giveaways, and so much more. If you're interested, check out the Patreon link in the description below to gain access to these benefits. Now from the comparisons, Open Code Interpreter's 33 billion parameter model achieved an 83.2 score on Savage on Human Evil and MBPP. And this is something that is closely going up against GPT's 4 score, which is 84.2. And you can clearly see that there is a one point difference as GPT-4 is ahead by just one score and we obviously can see that this is closing the gap between open source code generation models and proprietary systems like GPT's 4 code interpreter. Now I want you guys to take a look at this demo video which is showing the code generation capabilities of open code interpreter. We can see that it starts off by giving this prompt, write code to calculate all prime numbers in a range of 1 to 100 and this is a great benchmark which evaluates the performance of uh, models coding capabilities and we can see that it's able to generate a really good thorough response of it and we can see that it is able to also extend further on a response you can talk interactively with it and ask it various different sorts of code related generations and we can get it to execute these tasks quite easily and quite fast now, this is just truly a remarkable code generation model that is completely open source and it's something that's fairly new. Now, throughout today's video, we're going to be exploring this further in detail, exploring how you can get started with it and so much more. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to book a one on one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI. Definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at Open Code Interpreter. This is a new open source system of models that's integrating code generation with execution and refinement. Now, this is something that's utilizing code feedback data sets, which is utilizing 80 or 68,000 interactions. And it's combining these execution outputs as well as human guidance to dynamically refine the code that it outputs towards you. Now, they've done comprehensive evaluations, which is something that we took a look at at the start of this video. And they've done this across various benchmarks like human eval, as well as MBPP. And we can clearly see that Open Code Interpreter is achieving this exceptional performance performance with its 33 billion parameter model which is going up against GPT's 4s code interpreter which is their own code interpreter that's built inside their system and it's leveraging execution and human feedback to set this new standard in code generation which is now narrowing the gap between GPT-4 like you can say proprietary systems while comparing up against the open source models like open code interpreter. Now to create the system of open source models of open code interpreter, they use the code feedback data set. And one thing I want to mention is that they've actually created a lot of different ranges of models. They've created from starting at 6.7 billion 
all the way to 70 billion and you can see that there's different variations and different sizes that would be best fit for different compute requirements. When the code feedback dataset was being crafted, they focused on specific criteria to make sure that it was effective in addressing real world coding challenges. This is a dataset that is standing out because it's including a diverse range of challenging queries that are sourced from coding tasks. Now, this is ensuring that they have included a coverage of wide range of problems that are varying in different levels of complexity. Now, this code feedback model is adopting this multi-turn dialogue structure. This is where they're incorporating both execution feedback, such as a compiler output, and human feedback, like additional instructions from users, which are making the model or this data set mirror real coding scenarios. The approach that they actually took to build the code feedback data set involved five methods. And these are methods that are aimed at gathering and curating the data with a focus on fulfilling key criteria. You firstly have diversity in queries, structure in dialogue format, and interlaving of text, which is focusing on code responses to provide a comprehensive solution. Now, what they've done is that they draw from open source data sets and coding challenges from platforms like Leak Code, which was to ensure that they've collected a rich and varied data set that is accurately reflecting developers' coding tasks. Now, this is a comprehensive approach that is being used to craft this new data set. And I truly respect as to how they develop it because it's very, very interesting as to how they are focusing on the specific criteria to make sure that it's effective in addressing these real world coding challenges. Now, just take a look at this table over here, and you can see the comparison of their data set with other prominent open source models like Code Alpaca, you have Magic Coder, Python Code Share, you have Magic Coder Evol Instruct, as well as Evol Instruct Code. All of them have a good source of different coding inquiries, obviously, but we can clearly see that the code feedback data set has done a great job in shaping and crafting this new data set that is focusing on real specific coding challenges. And these are not just basic coding challenges. They vary in different complexities, and this is why it is prominent in this term where it's able to be applicable in comparison to GPT-4's large language model. Now let's just take a look at some of the main results of this model in comparison to open source models like Code Llama Python, you have Wizard Coder, Deep Sea Coder, and so many others. They've also evaluated it against GPT-3.5 as well as GPT-4 Turbo. So let's just take a look at this. We can see that they focused on two major benchmarks. You have e Human Evil as well as MBPP. And clearly you can see that GPT-4 is the king in code related generation. But if we are to go down, we can see that the open code interpreter model is able to do quite well with its smaller model. And if we are to compare it with its larger size model, it's able to do quite well in comparison to most of the models that are here. Now, in most cases, it's beating every single model upset GPT-4 Turbo on execution feedback, but we can see that its smaller model is even able to do quite a good job in comparison to the other open source models. Now, what I really respect with the team behind Open Code Interpreter is that they've released this data set. And if you're interested in using it, you can definitely get started with it, with this data set that has been uploaded on Hugging Face. They also have uploaded all the different models. And if you're interested in installing it, it's fairly easy. And in this case, if you want to install one of these models, it's fairly simple. You can click on it, go over to the model card. You can go to LM Studio which is something that I've made a video on previously. So if you're interested in that, I will leave a link to that in the description below. This is a great tool or application, sorry, that lets you install any sort of large language model that's open source locally on your computer. So what you can do is paste the model card, click enter. In this case, if you're not able to see anything, that's because I copied the wrong thing. Let me copy that again and paste it back. And let's see if it's able to find it. There we go. Now, if you're not able to see it, you can just take out the first bit of the model card and you can see that you're able to find the GGUF version of it and you can download and install the different quant methods or approaches of the model. So if you're interested in that, you can then simply just click download. And then once you have downloaded it, you can then slow that model up right in your conversation tab. And you can start chatting with it right away. 
Now, unfortunately, you cannot try any sort of online demo for this at the moment, but when there is one, I'll definitely post it on Twitter so that you can access it. And that's about it for today's video on open code interpreter. This is something that you should definitely take a look at with all the links that I'll be posting in the description below. In my opinion, this is definitely the best model that's out there, open source code related model that's out there. And this is because it's closing the gap between GPT-4, which is a proprietary large language model. And this is a great way to see that there are open source models that are slowly but surely closing the gap between these closed source models. But with that thought guys, I truly believe that this is the best open source code related model and I truly recommend you try it out. And if you do generate something cool, definitely tag me on Twitter and I'll definitely take a look at it. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of it. Make sure you take a look at this in the description below. Make sure you follow us on Twitter if you guys haven't already. This is a great way for you to stay up to date with the latest AI news. If you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. Turn on notification bell, like this video and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Spread positive and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.